bring the 26th United States Cavalry in, also known as our Philippine Scouts. So be thinking for a minute, this is uh, the beginning of World War II. The change from horses to mechanization is still going on. You see sort of an introduction to that with that tank sitting up there, the M1917. There were actually some military commanders who said, uh, we don't want planes and tanks on the battlefield, they'll scare the horses. That was World War I. But ultimately, as engines improved, reliability improved, these vehicles uh, became an important part of the military. Still, there were horses being used right up into World War II. The 26th Cavalry was a regiment of the U.S. Army regulars permanently stationed at Fort Stotzenberg on the island of Luzon, the largest island in the Philippines and the location of its capital, Manila. The unit was formed in the early 1920s, composed of Filipino troopers and officers from the United States. The unit was highly trained and highly skilled, regarded as an elite unit. It was among the first armed with the M1 Garand rifle and is likely the first unit to deploy it in ground combat. At the start of the war, the unit had been partially mechanized with two-thirds of the troopers mounted on horses and a third crewing the M3 scout cars. The horse-mounted elements of the unit were well suited to the rugged mountain and jungle terrain of Luzon, often traveling over ground impassable by vehicles. The unit went into the field on December 8, 1941, the day after Pearl Harbor was attacked, and within a matter of days engaged Japanese invaders in North Luzon. The 26th fought a classic cavalry delaying action, using their horses for speed and mobility and dismounting to fight on foot. Their repeated delaying actions slowed the Japanese advance and provided time for the U.S. and Philippine Army units to implement their war plan, withdrawing onto the Bataan Peninsula and fortifying it for defense. The delaying action and defense was so successful that the Japanese Army, which had expected to capture Luzon in four weeks, was forced into a hard four-month battle <coughs> at significantly depleted men and material of the Japanese forces. Some historians credit this hard-fought uh, defense as causing the Japanese to abandon plans to invade Australia. Today you see members of the 26th Cavalry Headquarters Troop demonstrating some of the tactics used by a mounted cavalry unit. They're deploying their horses for speed and mobility and dismounting troopers to scout and fight on foot. Further, Lieutenant Edward uh, Ramsey, Edward Ramsey and members of the uh, Troop E and F of 26th Cavalry will take a page out of 19th century history, conducting the last U.S. Mounted Cavalry Charge on January 16, 1942. In the village of Morang, they surprised and engaged a larger but unprepared Japanese infantry regiment by a mounted pistol charge and ran the infantry out of the village. The members of the 26th Cavalry Headquarters Troop will also demonstrate the power and impact of the pistol charge, the original shock and awe. Finally, members of this troop will approach the audience and address your questions. You're also invited to come and visit with them in the authentic cavalry camp set up in front of the White House. Ladies and gentlemen, the 26th United States Cavalry, the Philippine Scouts.
Oh, my God. 